Firstly of all, this video is a joke at expense, at the expense of straight people, about straight stereotypes. So if you're offended by that, then you're probably a cunt. Right, let's get started. So, I look like this. I mean, I look pretty shit, but, you know, what if I wanted to look straight? See, how do you look straight? Something I wondered a long time now. Firstly, take this off. Because, yeah, you definitely take this off. Instead, I replace it with this. I'm not entirely sure if this is particularly straight. It was a gift from straight people, very straight people, but it's certainly not a lesbian pride necklace. So it's less gay than that. And there is one thing I actually forgot, which I need to go and get. Which is a wipe for this makeup, because I'm going to have to take it off and replace it with straight makeup. And then you get to see my wonderful student room. The room I live in at university. So, of course, last video I showed how to do makeup like this. Of course, straight people would not been to be seen dead wearing makeup like this. So, you have to take it off. It's kind of sad. But it's pretty awful anyway, so whatever. Now straight makeup, at least the way I do it, is actually quite a lot simpler than, you know, cute gay makeup. Is that pretty, yeah, that's pretty much removed. God, I need to shave, but... Whatever. Right. Now, start the same way prime. Use um, prime spray. Now, with foundation, use the same foundation as before. Don't need all that much of it. But it's thankful because this bottle's nearly run out. But you don't need. I'd say, like, normally, like, when I'm doing makeup, normally I use. A lot more than I do for straight makeup. But for this, it's literally just a foundation, like, you know, rather than. So you'll see why it's like more important just as like a base rather than a, um, rather than like an actual thing in itself, if that makes any sense. Probably not. But, I do hope this video is recorded. And oh god, that's what you've done. Oh, you've done a terrible job of removing makeup. Nice, but you'll be fine. I've not got a great mirror here. Maybe it could have made the setup a bit better, but whatever. Normally, I always leave that foundation to dry enough a bit. And whilst that's drying, now, my hair is a complete mess, as you can see, but I don't think straight people would wear these like this. I mean, they're just cute, but they're not really doing anything. The straight people, let's take these out. Unless they actually wanted to clip their hair back, like, I don't know, like, I actually know what you would, I don't know how to 
do with hair. Right. And as I was saying, it's much simpler. Now, this is a new thing. This I bought, this I got from Body Shop. It was pretty expensive. But it says it's called a Shimmer Wave or something. But anyway, it's kind of like bronzer but less scary. But it's basically just a whole idea. This is like the main idea behind like straight makeup. Now, I'm not actually entirely sure I should buy it. The other thing is mine kind of ruined because when I was using this, I had an eye infection. So, the other thing, so I was, you have to be really careful about that. So, I did all kinds of products to try and clean this off. So, you know, it's, it just means it's a bit weird to use now, but it's the same thing. So, this is where like, I don't really know like, how to use it. Now, I think you'd probably use a brush that's much bigger than this, but this works. I'm gonna go like... Because the other thing I forgot is my big brush, I'll have to go and get that afterwards. Basically, I'll just like shove it everywhere. And then come like worry about blending in afterwards. Oh, well, I'll make sure it's like properly black, because like, normally with like foundation stuff, don't really worry about that, but like, when it's something like this, you really do worry that it's actually covering your whole face and not just the front of it. Like, I'll put it on like there, put it on there, get everywhere really. Oh god, this is really bad after I left the sea and salt water. But, as better as that than reinfecting myself. That would have sucked because you can't really make out with people. Because it would have been less of a concern for straight people. Because they never make out with anyone, do they? They do, they make out with their boyfriend. Like, oh, I have another boyfriend. Uh, they wouldn't find a girl then. Pretty cringe, isn't it? I know that looks kind of awful now. But it'll look a bit better after it's better. I mean, it's always going to look awful. It's straight, that's the point. But. It looks way more red than it normally does in the mirror, actually. Um, right. I need to go get my, like, big brush, like, then this in. And you're just seeing my room just like that. And that was me going into the drawers for something that wasn't in a drawer. Funny that, isn't it? Went into a drawer for no reason. I'm not sure if it's like bad. Well, again, it's kind of. And again, like these two are probably more effective when you haven't put them in salt water. But there you go. And um so yeah, I think. Um, I think pretty much that's the um, got that be better. Yeah, near enough that's the uh, face done. Well, that should be perfect, but whatever. Good enough. Right. Now the eyeshadow. Now, this is where like the straightness really comes in because like, I love eyeshadow, like, you know, loads of nice colours. Straight people are straight, and they like, um, supposedly they like rose gold quite a lot. Which in this set, this is a new set, um, 
was gifted to me by someone who isn't straight, but also isn't a woman. So yeah, this is... Well, you know, like, it doesn't look like straight on the cover. Like, that does not look like a straight bit of makeup, but it's the straightest makeup I've got. Oh, oh shit. Oh, well, I'm open. Well, no, there's no nudity there. So, you know. I'm not getting. Co Jesus Christ. As long as I'm not, I'm not getting community striped for that. Because it's not nudity. It's nearly nudity. Fucking hell. And also, it's just illustration, so. But fucking hell. Is that a straight person saying, like. But anyway, this is very straight makeup. It's called Nymph, but really it's like rose gold, which straights love. It's going to be hard because I my mean, mirror's tiny, but... The other thing is you can just apply all one shade of this stuff. The other thing is this, as I said, like, this eyeshadow is so much easier. Um, you know what, that's probably terrible, but I can't actually, can't really see it, so, yeah, I'm just seeing the other eye, like, it's literally just this easy. Uh, for a long time I wondered why straight people would look like this, and then I realised why, because it's so much easier. But that's actually probably not why at all. Well, other things like mascara I'm going to skip again. Because it terrifies me. You can ruin makeup so much if you fuck up mascara. Or maybe just I can. I fuck up mascara. Oh god. You know, that's probably terrible, but fine. And the other the glazing about straights, they don't use any fucking eyeliner. Because eyeliner is a pain in the ass to use. Now, finally of all, lipstick. This is not actually a stick, but. Whatever. So I was stupid enough to buy. Yeah, you know, I was like, oh yeah, you buy too many lipsticks. Yeah, this basically is a fucking lipstick. Mm. But I like it. It's really red, but straight people can, straight people would wear this. I think pretty much that's done. Now, I didn't actually rub it off very well because there's still actually hints of green in my eyes, but mostly that's straight. So there we go, I'm a straight lady fit, potentially wouldn't for this dress. I'm not entirely, like, I'm guessing it gives off sort of gay vibe. But this dress is a bit more straight. But I'm not getting undressed for you. So there you go. There's how you look straight.